Good afternoon. Bella is going to help me give a tour of what used to be our um, quail aviary, and we have now converted it into a rabbit colony. No rabbits yet, but I've, I'm going to walk around and show it to you, and then we'll go get a couple of rabbits and put in here. I've got several options for hiding and nesting. Uh, so these are kindling totes. I like these because I can open them from the top and see what's going on inside. And I've got two of those. And I've got a five gallon bucket that is turned on its side. It's got a hole in the front and it's got some drain holes in the back and it's also got a, a board screwed to the bottom of it so it won't roll. I've got some tubes they can run and hide in. And then I set up some pallets so they have kind of a little two-story effect here where they can get underneath and hide underneath that little deck or table. And then I found these feeding troughs at Tractor Supply and a mineral block that I can mount there. I'm going to start giving them options of grains. Uh, this is the regular rabbit pellets that um, they're used to for right now. I'm offering them alfalfa. I am definitely going to offer them hay at all times. So I saw this idea and I happen to have a basket like this that I don't need for clothes basket. So I cut the holes a little bit bigger in the bottom. Ouch. And, and then I've just got a chicken waterer here for right now. I'll probably come up with something better for watering purposes. Anyway. Uh, Bella, come on out. Oh, I'm also going to, um, I've got this old repurposed hurricane fence gate that's on the front of this. And the problem is when you open it to go in, rabbits will rush a door. So I'm going to make a, a little low wall right across here that we can easily step over. As you can see, the chickens are on the other side of this structure. They won't have access to the rabbits, but they're sure curious what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna go get me some bunnies. Okay, um, this is one of our survivors from the two litters. We had that catastrophe where we lost a whole bunch of baby bunnies. This one's the blue-eyed girl. See, she's got pretty blue eyes. And we have her and they're about, I'm gonna have to go back and look it up. But I think they're almost four months old. Not quite old enough to breed yet, but I have two siblings, and we're naming them Jenny and Greg. Larry came up with the names from the show Survivor in BBC. Uh, they were the survivors after some plague or something. I don't know, but anyway, so these are our little survivors. So we named them Jenny and Greg, and I'm gonna put Jenny in the in the in her new home. Okay, it may look like I have the same rabbit, but no, this is Greg. He has, let me get him in the sunlight, kind of pink eyes. They're actually almost lavender. They've got just a hint of blue in them. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of cool. Yeah. So this is a boy. Last I looked. I guess I better double check. Anyway, so this is Greg, unless we got his sex wrong and then we'll rename him. So Greg and Jenny are going to go in the new um, colony and we'll see how they like it. Bella. I'm inside with the bunnies. She's outside and doesn't like it. Here's Jenny checking out things. Here's Greg at my feet. It's much cooler over here, isn't it? <laughs> they are so cute. I'm tempted to put the other ones in here, but we got babies in the other area. Oh, right through the tunnel. Good job, Lou. And Bella gets all excited when we change animals' locations. <laughs> 